Welcome back. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Let's get into some trending stories. Ready. Yeah, you ready? Yes. It's time for Hot Topics. Yes. Uh, the NBA Finals, as we were just talking about. Yes. I'm excited about this. They kick off tonight, and yes. you can expect to see rapper Drake front and center. And maybe on the court. You never know. You never know. He is all over the place <laughs> at these games. Uh, it's not a secret that he's a Toronto Raptors most famous fan, yes. but it's being reported the NBA warned the Toronto Raptors about Drake's behavior because he's been known to heckle rival players. And in game four of the NBA playoffs, he could be seen giving coach Nick Nurse a playful <laughs> shoulder rub. That go. was trendy. Really yes, nice. thank you. you mm, like that's nice. <laughs> uh, he is the Raptors global investor, so he will need to curb his worst behavior as he's cheering on the Team. I see what you did there with worst behavior. You that's like one that? Of, that's one of Drake's songs. Here's the deal. There's nothing wrong with being an overzealous fan. We we all get oh, that yeah. way. I think the thing is, um, a particular instance was that, like, I think last year, him and Kendrick Perkins got into a big, big time. Big argument, yeah. Um, and then, you know, this is the Raptors' kind of first go at the championship. Yeah. And so, you know, they just want to make sure that, you know, he kind of keeps himself in check. He is their global yes. ambassador. Yeah. You know, setting a good example. And then he actually heckled uh, Giannis, yes. who plays for the Bucks. Uh, and so the fans were mad uh, about I, that as well. Giannis is like my favorite player. So, like, I uh -oh. was upset about that as well. I know. <laughs> I know like, it is. I was mad too, Drake. I was mad. You know what? I saw a map of the United States yesterday that had uh, the states were highlighted in what team they were going to support oh, in the NBA Finals. Okay. 48 states are for the Toronto Raptors. Really? 48 states are for the Canadian-based uh, team. Really? Yeah. Only California and Nevada were cheering for Golden State. Not going to lie. I'm also cheering for the Raptors. Yeah, same. Yeah. All right. Well, Disney opening up its new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Amusement Park. This week. Yeah, I can't oh, believe it. It will only have one attraction when it opens the Millennium Falcon, uh, Falcon Smugglers Run. This is very exciting. Oh, this yes. This is something that's been in the works forever. Disney calls it the most immersive land that they've ever built. Another Galaxy's Edge is scheduled to open in Florida's Disney World uh, sometime this summer. That's right. Uh, it looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. It looks absolutely amazing. I did not realize that the first one was going to open out there in Anaheim, and then they were going to put one in mm -hmm. Disney World in Florida. So, But both both theme parks are getting a Galaxy's Edge yes, uh, Star yes. Wars I mean, look attraction. at that. That is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it's so great. fun. And then we were talking about there were some celebrities. Oh, there, man. Right? Did you see the lineup? Like <laughs> Han Solo and Lando. So many people were there. Uh, you know, of course, you got Luke, um, George uh -huh. Lucas. Man, yeah. so many people showed up to kind of launch this thing. Very yes. cool. Love that. Yeah. Uh, well, check this story out. A yeah. Rutherford High School teacher may face consequences mm -hmm. after a mother says she was shocked when her son handed her his science homework and WTF is this was written across the top. That's right. Uh, Rutherford principal says they are taking the necessary steps to deal with the incident. It's unclear if any action will be taken against the teacher at this time. But man, some slang right there All on right. top of the homework. I mean, you know, teachers are challenged to kind of keep up with That's the times. Right. I think as a parent, would I be upset about this? I think it depends on the context of it. Are you kind? Are you trying to um, demean my kid? Right. And what's then your... I'm mad. But if not, it's like. Come on, did yeah. you even like try like, you know, what is this? So, but very interesting though, because again, teachers kind of are challenged to kind of keep up with the times. Yeah, totally. Um, so, but, but very interesting that she would just write that. That like, she would write that. What's and what's the here? relationship with the teacher and the son? Are they, sure, you know, sure, do they sure. have that kind of That's relationship fair. or is it, is that, is that a, a no-go? It says absolutely no credit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. None whatsoever. None. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Alex Trebek said he has uh, mind-boggling improvements oh, yeah. in his treatment for his pancreatic cancer, which I'm this very great. glad to hear about. The Jeopardy host revealed in People magazine that some of his tumors have shrunk by more than 50%. Now, the 78-year-old announced in March that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. He told People magazine that he got emotional at the news that he uh, could be beating the odds, mm -hmm. but credits his progress to the support from his fans and friends. I know. Go, Alex. We're all yes, behind sure. you, man. Speaking of another he's like Canadian. He's a national treasure. Yeah, and he's from Canada. This is another Canadian that we're all cheering for. I think all 50 states are cheering for nice. Alex Trebek. Yes, I uh, agree. On this, absolutely. <laughs>